Hi, this is Stephen Yi, author of Value Based FM. Welcome to this VBFM video blog. For those of you who are new or visiting this blog for the first time, this year's theme is Performance Improvement, where I will focus on measuring, sustaining, and improving FM performance and its result. In this blog, I will share with you the overview of facilities performance measurement and I will elaborate in the subsequent blocks to share my experience as a facilities performance improvement consultant. Okay, let's get started. Why is performance measurement so important? One of the keys to achieving excellence in FM performance is performance measurement. The information helps in decision making for FM and its organization's senior management. Are you feeling frustrated with so many performance measurement metrics or key performance indicators that much resources, manpower and time are needed to collect those data but do not know why they are needed? Having an effective facilities performance measurement in place will allow FM to adopt the right metrics and collect data that will provide feedback such as the current facility services performance, the financial management, operations management, and potential opportunities for facilities improvement and risk that require immediate attention, for, especially for those that's critical and that requires corrective actions. So you may wonder what are the types of performance measurement that FM need to have in place. And here are four essential areas on how FM is to have in place um, to have an effective performance measurement. Number one, the metrics must demonstrate how FM is able to support the achievement of its organization critical success factor. Number two, enabling the workplace to keep pace with the organizational change. Number three, creating a pleasant facilities user experience. And number four, the potential initiative that adds advantage to the organization's bottom line. And the purpose for the performance measurement is so as to translate the organization's strategic plan and objective into facilities and services requirement. To identify on the job performance gap, both the current and future that impact the organization's result. To determine the root causes for gaps in FM result and to address those causes. Finally, to implement solutions that meets the expected result. So in summary, stop setting and adopting facility services metrics that are of no value to your organization. Instead, collect, translate, and report data that matters to your organization's senior management to help them in decision making and also to enable FM to improve continually, to strive towards providing superior services to your organization. For those of you who are visiting this video blog for the first time, if you find the information benefiting you, do subscribe to this VBFM blog so that you will be alerted whenever a new blog is being uploaded. In my next blog, I will elaborate further on facilities performance measurement especially relating to benchmarking. So I will see you next month, first Wednesday. See you.